Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and this is a follow-up video to my initial C-Star setup within Stellarium where I explain how I set up the C-Star as an image sensor within Stellarium. So basically, as a reminder, you can use the setup of the C-Star to set up all of its framing options so you can see basically what the sensor can see and kind of plan your imaging sessions night to night and here I am looking at M31 and the default size of the C-Star sensor basically covers probably I don't know two-thirds of the Andromeda Galaxy not the whole thing I did create a video uh, several months ago after the mosaic slash framing mode was released the new firmware for that and uh, one of the images that I featured in that video was a mosaic of the Andromeda galaxy and I did not have a way at the time I created the video about setting up the C-Star within Stellarium to show that extra framing option here. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you a couple ways that you can set up your C-Star uh, within Stellarium to be able to get the red square uh, kind of like this right here where you can see that this is basically the same framing setup that I had for the video, which I will leave a link to down below. So you can see that with the framing option, which basically doubles the height and the width uh, that the sensor can image to basically what you see right here. So what I did is I went in to the wrench here and I added a lens option for a 0.5 reducer and that basically effectively doubles the sensor size. You can also create uh, another sensor option here, which is what I did framing times two up here. And it's basically the same thing. The uh, You have to adjust the rotation of the sensor a little bit to get the same thing that I had previously that you saw with the 0.5 focal reducer, but it's basically the same thing. So here, let me go minus 15. And yeah, that's basically the same thing as you saw a few seconds ago, about a minute ago or so. And yeah, so there are two ways to do that. You could either create a new sensor here or you can use a lens option and go with a 0.5 focal reducer. So here, let's go over how I set up both of those options. So here, the C-Star S50 IMX 462 framing times two, which you see right here, which gives you essentially what you will get when you max out the framing option for uh, a mosaic on the Andromeda Galaxy. It's the same resolution, but I have doubled the chip size. So the chip width was 3.2 millimeters for the native C-Star setting, and the chip height was 6.4 millimeters. So I doubled that, and the basic end result here is, well, it's basically what you see when you max out the framing option on the Andromeda Galaxy. So here, the lens for the 0.5 focal reducer, you can see that right here. You just set up a lens and I call it the uh, 0.5 focal reducer and you just set the multiplier to 0.5 and that is effectively the same thing from the Stellarium point of view and the C-Star point of view. Basically, you're trying to get Stellarium fooled to be able to give you the same kind of image that you would normally get when you're using the framing mode and maxing out that framing mode option of uh, two times. So what you don't get here is you don't get the overlay of the uh, C-Star normal sensor size on top of the framing mode rectangle here. And that would show you like how small the normal C-Star sensor is and which way that it has to go to be able to cover the entire mosaic. It would probably take about an hour or so, minimum an hour to the full mosaic here and cover the entire area here. And the thumbnail on my, <laughs> on my video where I did a mosaic of the Andromeda Galaxy is, uh, do you have time? Because when I was uh, starting this image, by the time an hour passed uh, several months ago, the C-Star was at the zenith. And with the alt-azimuth mode with the C-Star, once you get to the zenith, the C-Star has a very difficult time tracking and stacking those images. So we ran out of time because we we're up at the zenith. But anyway, 
those were the two options that I have figured out to get the uh, sensor size to replicate what you would see with the framing mode option. So you can plan your framing mode images. All right, well, there you go. That's it for my two options of setting up the C-Star and framing mode within Stellarium. And by the way, 0.5 Focal Reducer gets a special shout out to my buddy Bob, technical advisor Bob, for uh, letting me know about that option. It probably is the easiest option to set up and I didn't even think about it. I uh, can't see the forest because of all the trees, but if you guys have any other options, go ahead and let me know down below. Maybe there's something else that we haven't thought of. Clear skies, everybody.